Xbox Game Pass getting a massive day one game. Exopromal, Capcom's upcoming dinosaur shooter, will be available through Xbox Game Pass on its release day, July 14. Capcom's new Dino shooter game, Exopromal, will arrive on the Xbox Game Pass subscription service on day one. The game is scheduled to launch an open beta on March 17, with a subsequent release for all major gaming platforms scheduled for July 14, 2023, around the same time Pokemon Sleep should release and Lemnus Gate shut down. As reported by VGC, Capcom has announced that its third-person dinosaur shooter, Exopromal, will launch on Xbox Game Pass once the game officially releases. The game was previously listed on Microsoft Storefront, with both console and cloud listed as possible platforms, but nothing was said about the Game Pass. This caused a commotion among those anticipating the game, as it would be the first game to arrive at Microsoft's cloud gaming service without being available on Xbox Game Pass at the same time. Luckily, those speculations were dispersed by Capcom themselves, stating that Exopromal will make its way to the best subscription service on day one of its releases. Besides that, Capcom also announced that the beta testing would be performed via cross-platform matchmaking to ensure adequate balancing across Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam platforms. Those who participate in the beta testing will be rewarded upon the official release of the game with a special medal, though it's currently unknown whether having that item offers any particular benefits. Those who pre-order Exopromal will also receive other benefits, such as cosmetics for various exosets. The same applies to those who buy the digital deluxe edition of the game, they'll receive even more exosuit skins, a bonus for the game's survival pass, which features both paid and free-to-earn gear tiers. So far, it would seem that the game won't lock any content behind paywalls, everything unlocked with real money seems to be purely cosmetic. Whether or not that remains the case is yet to be determined. But the lack of paid progression is a good sign, Diablo Immortal is the prime example of microtransactions gone wrong, and the reliance of some developers on MTXs instead of quality development crashed some titles to the ground. We're not pointing fingers, but Square Enix and Marvel's Avengers. But, to be honest, Capcom has mastered the implementation of microtransactions in their games up to the point at which they're no longer considered a beloved game developer earning some money on the sides. Arbitrary optional DLC in some of their latest games showcases this perfectly. For example, three music tracks were released for Devil May Cry 5, a Monster Hunter haircut, and a weapon for Resident Evil 2 Remake. All are completely irrelevant to the gameplay and completely unaffecting when it comes to gameplay. This allows gamers to buy Capcom games and experience them to their fullest but also grants them the opportunity to support the developer and publisher further by buying additional cosmetics that don't impact the gameplay in any way. It all boils down to one thing, buy Exopromal if you like the game, and choose whether or not to support Capcom through MTXs, Exopromal will launch on July 14, 2023, and drop on the Xbox Game Pass subscription service on the same date. Thank you for watching the video to the end, please if you love our video click the like button, give us a thump up, subscribes, share and drop a comment on the video you like to see next.